Hi, I'm Ruena and in this video we will see how we can modify an existing element of the website using the inline edit, the edit element and the edit HTML options of the VWO's visual editor. We will also dive into a quick difference between the three. First, let's have a look at the inline edit option. Consider that if you wish to make basic multiple changes to the main headline content of your website, you can do so with the help of inline edit. You can not only modify the content, but you can also update its font, the foreground color, the alignment, and so forth. All of these changes can be done by just one click. Hence, it is one of the easiest way to edit an element and is suitable to a novice user. Next, let's have a look at the edit element option. When you wish to make multiple advanced changes to any element of your website, you can use the edit element option. Here, you can not just only modify the basic properties, but you will also find the advanced properties and attributes that are linked to this element. Say suppose if you wish to change the background color of the main CTA button, you can locate it under the style section. You can modify the color and we can save the changes. You can also update the attributes that are linked to this element under this section. This option is suitable to users who have some basic knowledge about CSS properties. Finally, we'll have a look at the Edit HTML option. In the Edit HTML option, you will be able to apply changes by viewing its HTML content. And this option is suitable whenever you have or require more flexibility and control over the code. To wrap up, use the inline edit option to make some quick basic changes to the page element. Use the edit element option whenever you wish to make multiple advanced changes. And finally, if you wish to have more control over the HTML code, use the edit HTML option. Thank you for watching.